Hello, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. This is my very first episode, and we do not have a name yet because I have very little planned for this. I'm just following my intuition. I'm here to show you how to do the same. My name is Jackie Mancuso. If you are not familiar with me, I am a whole lot of things, but I guess a spiritual problem solver can sum it up. I live in Northern Illinois, and I have been attracting so many high vibe people into my life that this idea for a podcast is screaming in my intuition. So I decided just to hit record and see what comes out and allow everything to fall into place. So I invite you to follow me through this audio and probably eventually video (laughs) journey uh, where I will share some of my own personal experiences, some of my own stories and journeys to give you guys an example to ponder, to learn from. And I will also be inviting plenty of people on to have conversations with all within the realm of spirituality, that huge, broad, overarching realm. So right up in mind, I have my good friend Vicky, who she and I have actually talked about starting this podcast together, so she might be here more often than anyone else. But Vicky is just an extremely intuitive, high-vibe girl who I met through the meetup group that she created. This happened March of 2022. I actually found the group in February, but she created a group for 5D high-vibe hiking at my favorite um, park right over here, 15 minutes away from my house. And I saw the group and I said, fuck yeah, this girl's going to be my best friend. And we met and she is just this intuitive lady who sees life in a very different way from most people that I've met. She is an extremely talented artist. And when she gets into her flow state, guys, some of the stuff that comes out of her physical being is just magnificent. Um, So she and I have become quick friends. It's almost as if we've known each other forever, most likely spent some past lives together. Um, But she and I were the ones who started this idea probably back in June. So today is January 17th of 23, and here I go, as Jackie does, just hit the ground running and we'll figure it out as we go. I also recently had a couple's astrology reading with myself and my husband, um, and I was introduced to the wonderful Max, Max of Nashville, um, an astrologer living in Nashville, brilliant mind, great insights. Uh, You just know when you click with someone, and immediately he and I began talking about collaborating. So I will definitely be inviting Max on this podcast. Don't know much about him. We've only been in each other's uh, 3D lives for the last week. But um, I wouldn't be surprised to see multiple episodes with him, with another girlfriend of mine, Sam. Sam is a massage therapist in the area. She is a little double Pisces, sun and moon. Gemini rising, fairy incarnate. (laughs) She is the epitome of a fairy, uh, just the most high vibe person you'll ever meet, which you will get to know when you hear her on the podcast. And, And anyone else who crosses my path who just seems to resonate with teaching others in order to raise the collective consciousness. So I'll be honest with you guys, I don't have a formal business plan for what the heck is going to happen in this podcast. But I've been using my talking face on Insight Timer for a little bit over a year, and I just allow spirit to talk through me. And I allow my intuition to lead me to stories that I believe will help people. And the amount of feedback I've gotten just from sharing my own experiences about how insightful it has been 
um, has been astounding. And I'm coming into a place in my life where I am embracing the power of my voice. Um, I am a Taurus sun, so ruled by the throat. I guess there's a signifier saying I should have been using my voice all along. I have uh, Mercury in Aries, so that is communication of the warrior. And in the human design, I am a manifester. So I have been given all of these signs to use my voice and to spread truth and, and just talk. Uh, and it's something that has been a little bit awkward for me. But the more I take the leap of faith, the more I act like the fool in the tarot, the more life just unfolds for me. So here we go. I hope that this is beneficial for you. I think that's maybe the fourth time I've said that so far. Um, but I was just inspired this morning after pulling my daily tarot. Um, I was inspired just to get on here and start speaking the truth. So let's, let's see what cards came up today. So for this podcast, oh, that's right. I got the lover's card for advice about the podcast. I took it as a message to make sure to care for myself as much as I care for whoever I partner with on this adventure. But then I pulled from a different deck and I was given the Sagittarius card. The adventurer, the wanderer who does not shy away from speaking the truth. So here I am sharing what I think is reality right? I've been on this, this spiritual awakening path. I had a full-blown awakening in 2020 when the world got weird, went down many rabbit holes, and I am a completely different person than I was three years ago. And throughout this journey, it's been step one was figuring out what I thought was real. Step two, leading people into it, you know, starting to drop those little nuggets of truth to see who wanted to pick it up, who was ready to pick it up. And I think I'm moving on to step three. I think I'm here to just share my truth. And if it resonates with you, awesome. If not, that's interesting. Maybe there's someone else that resonates with you. But I am, my only intention in this life is to share love, to create harmony on the planet, to understand myself in order to understand others. I've heard that that's a trait of many astrologers and people who, who are interested in these personality type uh, ways of learning. It's, it's, a, it's a love language to us. It's a way for us to show others that I see you, I understand you, I, I, I can see why your actions are what they are and I have compassion for you, I understand. So that's me, just this little ball of love. I call myself a little tiny Venus girl, but I'm a lot bigger than that. Taurus sun, Libra moon, Venus Venus, and the Aquarius rising. So I have that Uranus flare. Do whatever I want, when I want it, the way I want to do it. So this is just a quick little update for you guys to, to throw out the feelers to see I mean, I know this podcast is going to gain traction. So here's like a little preview for your, for you guys. Hey, this is what's coming. Um, of course, the nitty gritties will get worked out, the audio, the video, all of that stuff. But I can't wait for perfection to start acting. This is something that needs to happen. Uh, it needs to get the ball rolling. I have a hundred projects going on right now, but this is one that couldn't wait any longer. So if you like this style, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is where it will get started and who knows where it'll branch out, but stick with me, Jackie Mancuso on YouTube. I spell my name with a Q, so it's J-A-C-Q-U-I Mancuso, as it sounds. Feel free to follow me on Insight Timer this is not a promotion, but Insight Timer is a free meditation app. Changed a lot of people's lives. Live meditations, guided meditations, uh, like pre-recorded guided meditations, and live yoga classes, guys, all for free. It's all donation-based. So 
tip your bartenders, I mean meditation teachers, because they appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, follow me on Insight Timer. I go live some weekday mornings at 8.15 Central Time, talk some astrology, pull some oracle cards, talk some wisdom, share some stories. Um, that is... It's kind of like my censored version of me. Um, yeah, just sticking true to the intention of Insight Timer. The intention of helping people uh, discover their own spirituality and inner awakening. This podcast will be a little more raw and real, Jackie. I'm not saying that I'm not real on Insight Timer, but... A different layer will come here. I'm, I'm stuttering because I don't know what's going to come out here. Uh, I don't know what kind of theories I've been into that are going to be shared here, but trust me, it'll be interesting. I'll leave you with actually a few updates and then a quick story. If you are listening to this in January or even February or even early March of 23, I am hosting my first women's retreat. This is happening in Jamestown, Kentucky from Wednesday, March 29th through Sunday, April 2nd. This is an Aquarius Adventures retreat. So it's happening right after Pluto moves into Aquarius. This is the event that I've been waiting for since I woke up. Three years ago, Pluto moving into Aquarius to me feels like the exact beginning of the age of Aquarius, the age of humanity, the age of collaboration, the age of community, working together, benefiting the whole, right? Not, not benefiting the people on top and then trickle down to the bottom. No, this age of Aquarius is all about everyone. So join this women's retreat if it is calling to you. Um, it's a collaborative event, so everyone who attends the retreat is asked to bring some sort of gift or talent or service to share with the collective. So things like giving a 10 minute reflexology to each of the 12 people present, actually 11, because you'll be number 12. Um, you can lead us in an artistic craft, right? A creative expression. You can um, teach a yoga class if that's what you do, you know? And, and in that case, it's one hour of quote-unquote work, right? One hour of service from you. And then the rest of the time that you're there at that retreat, you're collecting from others. You're receiving from others. So that's the kind of community that I'm trying to create in the world uh, in general. And it's starting here at my first Aquarius Adventures retreat. Jamestown, Kentucky, March 29th through April 2nd. I really invite you to be a part of it. Um, and I am also in the works of starting a monthly, a bi-weekly, bi-weekly group called Embody Astrology. This is going to be starting, ooh, two months from today. March 17th is the first meeting. Um, it's not fully up and running yet, but this will be a Patreon community where we will meet twice a month. The first meeting uh, will be to introduce the upcoming Zodiac season. So I will educate you all about what it means to, you know, to have Aries energy. You know, you don't have to be an Aries to embody the Aries energy. Uh, but wherever the sun is going to be for the next Zodiac cycle, I will then uh, talk to you guys about what Aries energy is, what are some ways that you can embody this cardinal fire energy into your life? Um, and the point of this group, and then we'll meet, we'll meet halfway through the season just to like check in and see how everyone's doing with their progress, see if anything is weird, if they need uh, clarification on anything, or if this embodying this energy has taken them to great heights. So the point of this group is to work with the cycles of nature, to work with the universe, to work with the zodiac, to create more flow in your life. Um, we live in a society where we're taught to work 110% of the time, rest never because that means you're lazy, and then we watch our lives 
crumble with all of this stress and we don't understand what the fuck is happening. Uh, it's because you're working against what nature is providing for you. So just a quick example, like I set my New Year's resolutions, quote unquote, before Aries season, before the first day of the Zodiac. It's the season of spring. The flowers are budding. Everything is starting to bloom. Aries gives us cardinal fire energy. So that burst of energy igniting the flame. We get all of this go, 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 you know, it's time to uh, be first. It's time to use childlike wonder and excitement and optimism and enthusiasm. Like, doesn't that sound like the best time to start a new journey? <laughs> or would you rather do it on January 1st when we're in Capricorn season, when it, we're right after the shortest day of the year, we have the least amount of sunlight available to us. Uh, no, Capricorn is about planning. Capricorn is about seeing the future and getting it down on paper and, and making your plans. So if you're listening to this in January, that's what you can do now. You can start planning out exactly what you want your life to look like. If you hop into uh, Embody Astrology early, I'm going to be doing an Aquarius season type activity, a journaling activity, because Aquarius is, is an air sign. It's about the mind. Journaling activity to... Um, solidify what you want your future to look like. And then if you hop in before Pisces season, then you'll get access to this Pisces guided meditation, allowing you to feel into your life, feel into, is this actually what's in alignment for me? Is this really what is serving my highest good? And wow, I didn't realize I can talk about a thing that I haven't created yet for such a long time. But follow me with Embody Astrology also. Um, the details are not yet on my website, but you can sign up for my email list, which there is a link on my website to do so, and I will be sending out that email invitation probably sometime this week. I was waiting for Mercury Retrograde to end, which is happening tomorrow, which is maybe why I wanted to get this podcast off the ground today, because my natal Mercury is retrograde, and man, I thrive when the transiting Mercury is retro retrograde. So let me leave you with this story. I put this on my TikTok. I do have a business TikTok, guys. Lakeside, Underside, Living, if you want to follow me there. But the other day I was driving. I don't drive very often. I work from home. I live on a lake. I don't have many places to go. I leave the house once, maybe twice a week to go shopping and maybe see a friend. Um, so I was driving about an hour out to Wheaton to see my aunt. And within the first 10 minutes of my drive, so I'm driving through um, northern Illinois, right? It's, it's country, it's open, there's fields, and you can see a lot. And I was watching the birds. Mind you, I'm in the middle of reading Animal Speak by Ted Andrews. It's about learning how to work with animal magic, learning how to uh, interpret the messages that animals are giving to us day in and day out. So that's fresh in my mind. I'm driving, I look up and I see hundreds of birds flying above me. And I was just watching their patterns, you know, all of these birds were flying in the same direction, but they weren't all flying in a large cohesive group. There were some that were in little groups of three, there were some that were in bigger groups of 18, 20, 25, I don't know, I didn't count. Some of them were in, you know, those middle-sized groups, 7 to 10, and it was just so many, you know, like if you could, you could single out like, oh, that's a small group of birds, there's another small group of birds, there's a small group of birds, but they were all going in the same direction, and they, they were kind of hanging out with their tribe, they were hanging out with their little group, and it got me thinking about this spiritual awakening that is happening, it's inevitable. It, everything in astrology points to it, everything in all of the other teachings that I follow point to this time. Like, we, we are in the greatest time of humanity ever. So that, that's what I'm relating these birds to. All of these birds are on their way to ascension. All of these birds are on their way to this point of awakening, whatever that means. And even though, so if you were to look at that one single bird who was in that small group of three, if that one single bird kept their vision narrow on its own small group, they might be thinking like, man, it's only me and my two friends who are doing this. Like, what the hell? <laughs> this should be everyone. But if they 
expanded their vision and, and recognized all of these birds around them, they would see that there are hundreds and hundreds of birds going in the same direction. So I took it as a message for all of us because I know how lonely this ascension process can be, right? But we all choose if we focus on the negatives or if we focus on the positives. So if you are wondering if there are more people who are awake like you, trust that there are. That's the message I got from the birds. Even if you're only focusing on the small group of truth seekers around you, the universe wants you to know that there are, there's thousands of us, guys, hundreds of thousands. I don't like putting things in numbers because it feels weird to me, but like I, I choose to focus on the people who have higher intuitions. So in my reality, that's where humanity is going, right? If, if I chose to focus on all of the people I disagree with, and if I chose to give my anger and my disagreement to those people that just are not in alignment with my highest path, that's what I would think the world is. You create your reality, guys. Perception is really that strong. Whatever you put your focus on, that's where your energy goes, that's where your attention goes, that's what grows. So I'm inviting you to focus on the like-minded people who are in your community. Focus on the, the higher-minded people who you strive to become, you know? Like, focus on the people that you are, that you're inspired by. You know, like, and just allow yourself to assume, right? Put the rose-colored glasses on. What's going to change? Your perception is what creates your reality. So put on those rose-colored glasses. Create the reality of your dreams and ascend. I'll leave you with that. Love to all. Until next time.